Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my haul. In the thing I should like have the haul getting bigger or something. Do something big. I, You know, I wish I had the time to really figure out how to do like all that cool stuff. And I'm going to this summer. That is my mission. My mission is to figure it out because I really, really, really want my videos to be of good quality. I've spent money on lighting and... You know, I have, like, a great computer, and there's no reason why I shouldn't be doing better with this. It's just, honestly, it has been a jam-packed three stressful, beautiful years of just finding myself and figuring myself out and learning things that I've never done before. I've never painted, I've never drawn, and here I am, a fine arts major, getting ready to go in to my bachelor's, which I found out I'm super close to already, so that is really, really exciting. Minoring in theater, so I'm doing a lot with that this upcoming semester. I'm starting um, at the U of M. Super excited! But anyways, back to the hall. I should come up with some, something like Bunny. She has her tea vlogs. Mine would be like my hot cocoa conversations. Ooh, I think I just thought of it. Anyways, Back to the hizzle. I still have stuff all over me. So just plain and simple, I have some friends who have kids who are in sports. And my son isn't like a real sportsy person. He's more into like singing and music and things like that. But he is showing an interest more and more. So um, we were at like an outside outlet um, mall. So, you know, there's just a bunch of different stores. And I really just wanted to kind of go into stores that I don't normally go into. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to go in there and see what all the hype's about. <clears throat> First of all, the hype is that ish is expensive. So honestly, I mean, I'm a clearance shopper. So I'm sure I'll go in there and, you know, graze around in the clearance section. And, you know, if I see great things, I'll buy them like sizes in advance and stuff like that. So I'm sure my son will be, you know, I not that I care if he's in trend, but, you know, I know how it is. So he'll have some things that are okay. But enough with my son because he's a spoiled little brat. Uh, not a brat, but he is spoiled. Um, We're going to get to me. And I found this, and I got to tell you, I absolutely love the color, and I don't think it is picking up correctly on the camera, but it's this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fuchsia color, royal blue, and then this bright, bright, bright neon coral. It is absolutely gorgeous, but I have to say, I cannot stand the touch of the outside of this. The inside, it's super warm and like cozy and comfy, and I can deal, but as soon as my skin touches the outside of it, it makes me want to cringe, but I really love the color, so... I thought I'd give it a go, and I'm actually going to research this because I'm not even sure why it feels like this or what material it is. What is it? I'm curious. Oh, it's made in Jordan. Ooh, see, yeah, it's 100% polyester. I'm sorry, but I don't like the feel of polyester. It's like Halloween costume feel. I don't know. Not something you'd want to wear all the time. But I'm going to give it a go. Maybe it'll keep me super warm. I'm not sure. So that's the only thing from the Under Armour. The next thing is um, I'm going to a concert, and it's a Third Eye Blind concert, so it's not something I want to be, like, super dressed up for. But then again, it's a concert, so I want to, you know, kind of amp up my, my attire from just chilling at home. And I have, like, this whole, like, California, like, bohemian-type look that I'm going for this year and I really needed a cross bag that had fringe that was small and I did not want a big one I don't like tan lines so I didn't want anything like real weird or anything like that and I found the perfect one do, 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 do. and it even has the like perfect amount of fringe I didn't want anything that was like too fringy um, and I got this at Rue 21 for $7.99 and you can um, change like how big or I'm sorry how long or short you want it. I would go longer just because I would want it to wrap around my body. But I'm so excited because this was like the last piece of my outfit and now I can quit worrying about that. And yes, the concert is in like July or I'm sorry June and I've had my outfit in my mind picked out for probably about a month now. I'm like, I'm going with my brother, and I'm like, so, what are you wearing? And he's like, um, 
ask me like a day of, and I'm like, yeah, you're a guy, so. But maybe not all girls do. Actually, leave that in the comments below. When you know you have an event to go to, do you like have to find your outfit now or do you like just wait last minute? Because I'm very curious actually to know. Um... So the next thing I got, and when I got the purse, she's like, oh, well, it, right now it's if you get a full price, you get one half off. So I just went to the closest thing that was by me, and it was these jars, mason jars, and they're piggy banks. They have a money slot on top. And I do swear a lot, and I have a child, and he tells me all the time, Mom, I'm not supposed to hear that. And I'm like, oh, I know you're not. So... I always thought, you know, I should, I should like make a swear jar and then that way I'll be held accountable for when I do it. And I found this absolutely adorable one and I don't even know why they would even think to do this, but I'm glad they did. It has these awesome little arrows on it and I'm a huge fan of Hunger Games. So now that when I see a bow and arrow it automatically makes me think of that, but it has really cute, um, font as well. So I'm very excited about using this. See, very excited, very excited. I'm very excited about everything. So, moving on, the next things that I got at TJ Maxx is um, a bouffant shower cap. And I like to um, wash my hair some days, wash my body other days. And um, I'm sick of putting my hair up in a clip and then the baby hairs or the side hairs getting wet, in that, or sometimes even these hairs. And then it just ends up ruining my style. So I got, it's like a heavy duty shower cap. And I really needed that. Um, I picked up the Tangle Tamer. And I seen Blair Fowler actually talking about this in one of her videos. And um, I know she has long hair like I do. So I was like, yay, great. I'm going to get one too and try it. And I think she said she had already tried it and really liked it. So I was more... Um, app to get it I guess and I got it for a really good price for $3.99 um, again TJ Maxx I highly suggest you go there because you can find some really great things for great prices and then the next thing I got is this professional nail dryer no more smearing um, onyx professional conditions cuticles and nails fast drying island coconut scent spray that you're supposedly supposed to spray your nails and it makes them dry instantaneously I don't believe it, but we'll see. And it was only $2.99, so if it doesn't work, then I can always try the Super Dry that I literally bought at Dollar Tree. Before I bought that, clearly you can tell I'm the type of gal that likes to paint on the go. The next thing I got is this little American Eagle. Um, it's just like a flouncy tank top, like larger at the bottom, so it'll be flowy. Um, and I was really surprised because stuff like this usually goes for quite a bit at American Eagle for just a simple tank top. And this was $4. So that was really, really nice finding that deal. And I think that is it. Let me see. Is there, oh, no, I still got my Bath and Body Works. I will go through this quick. I said my video wasn't going to be as long and here it is pretty long. So... They had a really good sale going on right now. All of their body lotions, um, like the big bottles, were $3. So I picked up the Pear Some More Beautiful Day and the Warm Vanilla Sugar. Um, I'm pretty sure that we can just tell that this is vanilla. And then the Pear Some More. Um, I don't like the candle, but I do like the scent in the body lotion. And um, it's inspired by a romantic stroll through the charming streets of Paris. And then A Beautiful Day is, um, it makes you feel like you're having the perfect spring day full of carefree, delicious moments. Sun-kissed apple, dewy pear, sparkling cassis, um, and a whole bunch of other things. And this smells literally beautiful, like they say. I was very excited to find this, and I probably would have got all three but then I probably would get sick of it. So I said, no, I will try different things. And then the next thing that I picked up, because I can't get enough body lotions, is the Wild Madagascar Vanilla Vanilla Bean Body Souffle. And it's got this cute little um, animal print top. And again, it's just vanilla. And it's it smells very pretty, though. It's a very unique vanilla. It's not the plain Jane vanilla bean smell. 
I also got a Thousand Wishes Crystal Confetti Hair and Body Shimmer Spray. I thought that would be nice um, when you're like out on the water and it can glisten off your skin and make you look beautiful. In my mind, whereas in reality, no, I probably just look like someone shot me full of glitter. But we like to pretend. And also because summer's coming up, I had to get a new scent to spray on myself um, just here and there. So I picked up... Um, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, um, but it, I'm just going to call it the Coconut Sunset. And I got a small bottle um, so it could just fit anywhere I really want it to go. The bigger bottles I do enjoy. It's kind of a better discount. But the smaller ones I think really will just be better for me. And then that way I can switch out scents more often too. Because my Twilight Woods lasted, I believe, a year and a half. And... I was over it. By the time it was done, I was ready for it to be done. Oh, and this was from what? Oh, Old Navy, yes. Okay, just one thing from Old Navy. Um, the Mother Sun Dance is coming up, and my son's shirt is navy blue, and then his tie has coral skulls on it, which is absolutely adorable, and I got that from Old Navy. So I found this really, it's like a casual, it's not super like dressy or cla like classy. It's just kind of like casual, like mom attire. Um, but it is cute. Um, navy blue dress. And I got this gold necklace with... In this, you can't see how beautiful the coral is because of this darn lighting. Back here, maybe. Do, do, do. Anyways, in person, it is just the right color coral as his um, little necktie. So that should go perfect. And hopefully that'll be enough to tie in the coral in blue. And last but not least... My son picked these out, and he has wonderful taste. I'm not going to go through and smell them and give you a detailed anything because I'm already about to hit my next 15 mark. So that was a half-hour haul. I'm just going to put huge, epic haul. Do, do, boom. I wish my personality was, like, big enough for that to actually be true. Um, it will get there, though. So he picked out, and before I say anything, how cute are these tiny little mason jars? I mean, really? You don't get much cuter than this. Um, but this is the banana nut bread, nutmeg bread pudding. I don't really care for the scent, but he absolutely adores it. Same with this, and it comes in the cute little mason jar. And this is the mint mocha bark, and I don't care for it. But he really enjoys it, um, so I said, you know what, I'm getting it. And these two I really do enjoy. And this is, I think, from their, yeah, from their 2014 collection. And all of this was, like, all on sale. I went to the outlet, and they were having, like, extra sales at the outlet. So I think I believe I got all of this from Bath & Body Works for, like, $21 or something like that. Um, but this is the cit Citron Cedar Wood. Mm, and it smells so good. It smells like a really, really, really... Like expensive, nice, woodsy, like men's cologne. It smells so good. And this this is autumn night. Mm. And it really does smell like an autumn night, but it smells so good. I might even save that for next fall, both of those. I don't know yet. But he did a great job picking this stuff out. And thank you guys if you stuck with me throughout this half hour haul. At least I broke up in 15 minutes. You had time to use the bathroom, maybe grab a snack. Do whatever you had to do. Um, I will have more videos coming up. My next video is going to be coming up quite quickly. And that is me trying Japanese snacks. And I'm so excited because I've been wanting to do it forever. And I've seen people do it. And I've never like really been adventurous when it comes to food like that. So just please stay tuned. I'm sure I'll have some great um, reactions to it. Hopefully things will be good and not icky. But I will see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to... Leave your comment um, and also to thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.